Okay, one last question and then I better break. Ingrid, I, I talked to you about this, and we know that SeaWorld puts out a percentage, 23% of uh, dorsal fins are naturally bent in the wild, and what they do is confound that with the collapsed fins that we see with most of their whales in captivity. And because we've got such a high-value audience here, can you just describe what they've done with the 35 whales or so that you looked at and the seven that had abnormal fins, not collapsed, and what they're actually doing with that information and your little interactions with SeaWorld over the years? Yeah, well, basically, I wrote a paper because uh, we had an interesting scenario in New Zealand. We had some animals that had uh, collapsed dorsal fins, and they, some of them had really wonky fins, and one of them is actually called corkscrew because the fin is so twisted. And I wrote this paper because I couldn't find anything in the literature about what was going on. And when I looked at, at the limited stuff out there, I was like, wow, you know, this is very, very strange. So what I found was that there was this number of orca in New Zealand that had some sort of a distortion with the dorsal fin, and one animal that had a collapsed fin, completely collapsed. So then uh, I, I wrote this paper. And I said, you know, there's 23% of these animals have some sort of deformity to the dorsal fin. But remember, there's only one of those has a collapsed fin. Now, SeaWorld took that and put up on their big jumbotron, 23% of wild walker in the world have collapsed dorsal fins. Mm. Not that there was one, but 23%. So I wrote to them, I said, look, I've heard that you're misusing my data, and they completely ignored me. And I wrote to them again, and I said, look, you know, this is the wrong thing that you're doing. I'm going to have to get a lawyer involved. No answer. And then after me hounding them and hounding them and hounding them, eventually um, they've moved on and they've done something else. But um, I think that it, it's just indicative of the way that they manipulate data and they distort things and they give misinformation to the public.